allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'll uh, rock and roll for a motion for agenda approval. Um, one correction. Okay. Down on the native post on wine distributor permit for the Burma Valley mm -hmm. Forest Services, we're just going to accept it and place on file. The state approves those. You don't oh, have the approval don't process. Don't approve them, so we'll they just send us an acknowledgement. That Change up from approved to accept. accept. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'll make the motion to approve the agenda with that correction. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, meetings from 210. We did a meeting last week. I read the agendas at home, or the meeting minutes at home, and they were fine. So I moved to uh, accept. Yeah, <coughs> Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Minutes approved. Anyone generally publicly concerned? <coughs> okay. Well, Jerry, Lexi, if you are ready to go, you can yeah. step up and give us the extension report. Well, thank you for allowing us to come and <coughs> give you an update about Iowa State Extension and outreach here in Humboldt County. Thank you. That's the baseball thank season you. the Cubs had. Yeah, yeah. That's the Bears. That's the Bears. That's the Bears. <laughs> <not> the Bears. <laughs> Um, I guess we just kind of wanted to come today and talk about our stakeholder report. And there's a couple. You're welcome. You can go ahead. You have a seat. I get to sit over there. Oh, whatever you want. Whatever you're talking about. I'll stand in too. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But um, so we're just kind of to talk about our stakeholder report for 2019. Um, just some of the major, bigger programs I guess that we did. Um, we one of the programs that we held in our Region 7, which would have been Humboldt, Wright, Hamilton, and Webster County is a master conservationist program where we had 14 participants and it was a seven week program for three hours on a t on Tuesday night. Um, and we just went to different, different national, or not national, but local parks and just different areas learned about conservation and had a variety of speakers. Um, then we also had an estate planning and um, estate planning, planning meeting for people to just come and learn about farm estates and just kind of what to go from there through retirement and everything. And then we, in health and well-being, we have to save every fall and winter, so every spring and winter, sorry. So um, we will have that coming up in April, and that's just a food certification program that is required for restaurants. And then um, through our summer camps, we had a variety of summer camps with Kirsten and um, the two summer educators that they had. And then they had, um, there were 68 that attended. And then 21 were new to the Humboldt County 4 H program, so that's a pretty large, pretty, pretty good increase. So, yeah. Yep, and so currently they have 90 kids enrolled in Clover Kids, which meet on Wednesdays after school. So there's three different groups of them yeah. um, that come either they go to the school or they come to the office. So, pretty hectic on Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. And then um, there's currently 154 youth enrolled in Humboldt County 4 H. So, that's just some of the bigger things on our. Um, stakeholders report and then in those packets I also attached a couple different programs that we're going to be having in the next six months. Um, so the large sheet is the writing retirement paycheck which will take, back, take place in April and May. And it's just a two-week workshop where they go through um, IPERS and pretty much anything you need to know for retirement. So um, that's one thing. And then the leading communities is one that we are currently working on and hoping to Hoping to get going and get on the ball. Um, it's one that they did two years ago, and it was recently. It was called De Developing Dynamic Leaders Then, um, but they went through and reworked the curriculum, <laughs> and it's changed to lead the community. So it's a pretty large program from everything that I've learned through this process, I guess. And then we have um, we'll be going through the farmland management workshop on March 30th. Um, there's a variety of speakers coming from. Around the state, it looks like uh, I've been working with our ag engineer to do that, and that's supposed to be going out to local producers this week. So, so Lexi has highlighted programming in our four areas, right? Youth, agriculture and natural resources, human sciences, and their community and economic development. 
And that leading communities, that's the one that uh, we want you to pay attention to. We may need your help in that one. Not necessarily financial, but just in promotion. In the idea of how is it that communities can work together <coughs> to go ahead and improve themselves. And so, uh, as far as a couple of updates, uh, from my perspective, uh, Aaron Peterson left our office uh, at the end of 2019, and so we have a woman by the name of Kim Axney now as our new office <coughs> manager, and so she came on board in December. And so with that change, we went ahead and outsourced the bookkeeping, and so now we're sharing a bookkeeper with Pocahontas County. <coughs> and so similar to Lexi's position that we share between Pocahontas and Humboldt, it seems like we have enough commonality between those two counties to go ahead and, and work well together. Uh, she mentioned Kirsten Belke. It's, I had to check my notes, but Kirsten's been with us now seven years. And <coughs> gets away from us. But, uh, uh, on July 1, we'll re realign the regions for extension in the state of Iowa. All that means that for us locally is that instead of having right in our four county cluster, it'll be Pocahontas. And how ironic that is after we started sharing some of these other things with Pokey. So, but that'll be our four counties and that's a, as of July 1. The, the biggest change for me as an example will be that the regional director now comes back in as staff supervisor for these four counties. So in 09, when we did our last realignment, readjustment, whatever you'd like to call it, the, regional, the county directors were no longer, regional directors were no longer uh, supervising staff. So we were there to coach and instruct, and so now we have the responsibility to supervise. Last point that I'd like to make is, uh, as you know, Extension has its own uh, funding source through the county through 176A Iowa Code. And so this year we just approved the uh, budget for a tax ask of 160000 And uh, then our total expenditures for the year are anticipated to be just over, uh, let's see, 250600 600. So uh, again, user fees, other activities to go ahead and help uh, keep the office operating. So it's more than tax dollars. So the last question I'll leave with you is, are there programs that you go, gee, I wish Extension would do such a program? That's always going to be a question, right, as we <laughs> meet with people. <coughs> and I don't mean to put you on the spot. You've got Lexi's card. You can always drop her a note on that as well. But Well, I think that, you know, the different yours and other extension, you know, offices, they do put on a lot of good workshops. And I just hope people are aware of them. And I know that they get pretty good publicity and things like Farm Bureau spokesman and yep. hopefully local advertisement, you know, for the area. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is this looks as a real good one. Mm -hmm. it's strange. Um, so yeah, I noticed the ones that you put on throughout the year are, are, are good and I hope they're well attended because they're very topical. We continue to work on marketing, don't we? Trying to get the word out, trying to find a time where people are willing to give up two hours, three hours, or in some cases, half a day. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, what I've learned over the years is that they need to see it multiple times, perhaps, and know that it will be offered again sometime. As far as estate planning and so forth, we just went through that with our mom. And until she sat through and really thought through what uh, she wanted to do with that, then she attended a program through extension. So, <coughs> so it's always there. We plant the seeds and then hope that people will come back to join us later. So, again, we appreciate the support Humboldt County gives extension outreach here in town. 727 summer. Thanks for what you do. Uh, thank yes, you. Thank you. Yeah, really yeah. Stuff. Good stuff. We're going to excuse ourselves. Go ahead, Rick. It appears to be quite a bit of growth in that cold of kids because I remember going by there and seeing the kids going to that group was never quite that large, I didn't think. So you have that in the 
Is that something you see in Pocahontas too? Or? Um, they have a Clover Kid program that meets on Saturday, so I don't think exactly know the numbers, yeah. but um, I think from Humble is quite a bit larger just because she breaks them down into grades, whereas oh. usually Clover Kids are just K through three, mm -hmm. or K through two, I guess. But yeah. Kirsten does a really good job of breaking them down to kindergarten, yeah. and first grade, and second grade. But I think I think that draws the numbers because. And then it's after school as well. Yeah. This maturity level too is it the same? If you have yeah. too big of a group it's, or it's wide of an age, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> if it's but important to the parents, they're the mm -hmm. ones that push yep. help yep. push the kids into those groups, so it's important to the parents. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe it's honor because this is the second year that they've done the kids. Oh, okay. I, I mean Kirsten I think has had the program going for quite a while, yeah. so yeah, all right. But it gives those younger ones, K through three, an opportunity to see a little bit about what may happen when they get to fourth grade and mm -hmm. joint school age. Yeah, get them started early. Yep. Yeah. 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 Well, we're going to excuse ourselves. Thank you. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank You all right for a minute? Yeah, I'm fine. You good? Okay. Uh, just wondering if we should drop now and take a look at the claims of people. All right. I looked through there. I had 93,674.31. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything for drainage, so I thought we got off cheap. We yeah. did check on the bill at Fort Ice Ford and uh, Dean sent back to the store transmission. Oh. Well, I didn't mention which vehicle. Well, mm -hmm. That pretty much explains it then? Yeah. Okay. So I would make a motion on that. A second. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Claims approved. Can we do <coughs> some different colored book? It kind of threw me oh, yeah. oh, yes, it is. The other one was paid. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We can afford to get a new binder. It's okay. Right. Funny. Well, we're Dr. Dr. <laughs> yeah. More worry. <laughs> Just a couple of the housekeeping things if Ben doesn't mind getting to them. Uh, yes. Is it going to take long to on the uh, drainage levies approval? It might, but okay. we could do the set date and time. How about the maximum prop? Yep. yep. Get that date nailed out. I figured out that we are over 102%. So um, when that happens, then we need to <coughs> set that, yeah, public hearing. So I'm trying to find that here. <coughs> we were like at 2.99% on the general services total, which is a combination of general basic and general supplemental, and then over by 3.61 on the rural services total. So we will set the date. Um, I was looking at March 9th at 835. And then if you approve that, then we have to publish it and then also put it on our website. Okay. I'll make the motion to have the hearing on March 9th at 8, which is 835? Yep, 835. Okay. I'll second Sandy's motion for the maximum property tax. So this will be the first step in the process of our budget. If that gets approved at that, budget, at that meeting, then we go forward with our regular public hearing. So this is so. the change from the way it used to be, this is, would be the sec or the two hearings that we have? Yep, this is the first of the this two. This will be the first of the two. Yep. All right. Okay, so 835, Monday, March 9th. Uh, all those in, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That is when it will be. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> okay. How about our approved for filing and publication the calendar year 2019 salary report? Yep, we have a copy of that in with your packet. Um, we're required by Iowa Code to at least once a year file all the salaries of county employees. Some of this may involve um, township <coughs> trustees. So if you see some people on there with smaller amounts, it may be like a township trustee or 
a contracted person. And they can sit on two different things and get paid from two different sources, so they're on there twice sometimes. Um, yeah. Not too often. Well, there's a few, like Pat Hill is on here twice, I see. And okay, yeah, she probably did. Know, she some sits on different things. And mm -hmm. And you have to keep in mind this is calendar year and not fiscal year. So if you're looking at a budget, it's going to be different than what's on here because you're taking half of one year and half of another to, to make it's a budget. Odd. It's really odd that they do it that way. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and then the report has to be by calendar year. It's like, yeah. okay. okay. I make a motion to accept the salary report as printed. I'll second it. Any discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I'll report uh, approved. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the native wholesale wine distributor's license for Sunday sales for River Valley Forest Services. That's I'll a second. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Any discussion on that mouthful? No one said accepting. A couple glasses of wine. <laughs> no. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Accepted. Parent, I'm just looking at the hiring process. It's pretty well spelled out there. We can do that all in one motion, I'm assuming. Yes, okay. Yeah. okay, I'll make a motion to accept the hiring for the 2020 seasonal conservation help with the effective dates to be hired as determined by the weather. Um, as a recommendation. As recommended by the conservation board. We got Monte Hocus. Hocus. Park maintenance at twenty dollars an hour. John Riles, park maintenance, twenty dollars an hour. Kathy Newman, Sheldon Park Campos at three hundred a week, and Rhonda Vincent, Gotch Park Campos at three hundred a week. I'll second. Any discussion? I appreciate them campos because they they got a lot to take care of out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be more now, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I already accepted. Uh, is there anything else we need to look at in that box, or can I just take it at that point? No. Okay. In fact, if you want to keep going, I can. Okay, that's fine. Yep. yep. Well, Beth, for a change, because of all the other times you've been late, <laughs> you can be early. Right. Or forget about it. Take a look at this and make sure that I'm on the, I'm not confusing myself. Is this? Notice the same as this. Uh, so this is different. They have to have a public meeting for uh, accepting applications. It's just their standard meeting. This is part of our application process. So this is kind of a moot point. Yeah, that's what you've already filed. That. So this is what they're asking. <coughs> this right. meeting. This is. meeting is to ask for. So you're you're. So we're good. Yes. Okay. Because I just looked at this this past week and. Then this came was right here, and so we're good to go. Yeah. All right. We need to set the second hearing on that budget. You so can we do that today after, after, after the first. After I asked because I thought maybe we could do both I, at the same time. I wanted time. to make sure we didn't mess that up because I talked to you the other day about it, and I just wanted to make sure we didn't need both of them set. But I suppose if someone contests or yeah. argues about it, then we have to first one fails and you can't go on to the second until yeah. the first one passes. Makes yeah. sense. That's true. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, morning man. How are you guys? Good. Still sunshine a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Until yeah. tomorrow the way it sounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look for a lot of wind the rest of the week. Thank there's you. a chance of something overnight, but mm -hmm. most of it got shit. Yeah, sure. uh, they get to have some down south. Yeah. 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 So we should we should be lucky till possibly next week, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the first item that I've got on the agenda is to approve resolution 2020-5. This is a resolution uh, for us to apply for our STBG grant through MIDAS. Um, what this is, is this, this is us applying for a million dollars towards the cost of our P66 overlay project, which is scheduled for four years out. Mm -hmm. 
Um, <coughs> us as a region, we get, uh, oh, I want to say it's around 200,000 a year. Uh, so it takes a while to build up. So we, we can let a project with these STBG funds about every, about every four years with what our income is. So when you do that, <coughs> are you pretty much assured that that money? The money's kind of set aside. Set aside. You're we, just have to work. we just have to go We're trying to build the cushion out so that we can do a project like that. Yes. Right. So <coughs> this past <coughs> summer, uh, P33 between Rutland and Bode, that used the STVG money as well. So like I said, it takes about every four years mm -hmm. for us to build up okay. that million dollars. What that? Uh, I'd make a motion to accept uh, approve the resolution 2020-5 for that grant. I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. So you got the one for me to sign. Yeah. You want me to fill in all this? I can fill it. You in can fill that in. It was unanimous. Oh, by the way, make sure that. Um, I forget it because I'm very particular this way. It's E R I K. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Dave filled that out. I'll, well, I'll, I'll have a word with that. Yeah. Have Dave. A word with Dave. You have a word. I, well, yeah. 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 Get Dave straightened around there. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, well, thank you. Too <laughs> late, I guess. Huh? No, we're right along. <laughs> Rick shoved the we know we're We know we're doing it. Okay, but we're doing it. Okay, but we're doing it. So you're fine. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I apologize for that. Yeah. It's not your fault. And I believe you when you say that. Yeah, he's a rich guy. Yeah. yeah. You just tell him that. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll let him know. There you go, man. So that's all I need to sign. Yes. Okay. And then I'll have Peggy sign it as well. That's the attest. The second item on the agenda that I have is to review and possibly approve the Humboldt County Secondary Road Department Policy and Procedure Memorandum. You guys had a chance to look through it. We currently follow it right now, but we don't. We never had it in writing in the past. Basically, what this says is how we handle paving of farm-to-market roadways through town. Yeah. Um, what happened is about uh, two, three weeks ago, I talked to Travis with the city of Humboldt, and they're looking at redoing some of their main street. Uh, well, we didn't have anything in writing that formally says it, but if you follow the Iowa Code sections at the bottom of the first page, it states that at any town that's over the size of 2,500, the county doesn't participate. Now they're eligible to apply for city farm to market funds through Shirley down at Midas. Uh, and I talked to Travis and I believe that their plan oh, okay. is to apply for city funds. Um, in the past with, with towns that are under 500, we have always paved the center 22 foot of farm to market routes through town. Um, this more or less is puts it in writing mm -hmm. as far as what our policy is. So whenever a road falls within city limits, so when, when it's included, right? Yes. Yeah. So anything, for the most part, I think uh, most of our towns are level threes. Uh, so we pay 100% of the center 22 foot uh, going through town, with the exception of uh, Gilmore City and Dakota City. Uh, those portions of the farm to market we would cover 50% of the cost. And uh, uh, obviously, the city of Humboldt is ineligible by Iowa Code. Mm -hmm. You said the center 22 feet. So basically, the roadway. So basically, they're they're responsible for the short fence, if you will. Is that they're, they're they're responsible for the short fence. That makes sense. Sides. You say it's yes. 22 feet. Yeah. Uh, what you run into is like in the city of Bowe or Hardy where they have uh, parallel parking or perpendicular parking beyond 
the center 22 that's foot. the cities. That would be on the city right. if they want to overlay it at that time. Yep. Typically, uh, we attend a couple of city council meetings uh, to figure out what they want done yep. with theirs, or if they want us to just basically mill through and fill back in. Um, mm -hmm. We've done both in the past, I think. When we went through Bode, I think the city of Bode set money aside and they paved all the way out to their gutters. Um, when we did Thor, we just did the main 22 foot in town. So, e I mean, each town is different depending on what they have for funding set aside. But obviously, this isn't something that sneaks up on them. They know well in advance. They know. They so they can, well in advance. they can make that decision. If so the, the next one that I, I see happening would be uh, Hardy with, with part of that STBG grant. Mm -hmm. Once you get north of the railroad tracks going into Hardy, they've got considerably wider roadway where like the elevator parks and, and then the, the old post office. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, I'll, I'll go in and I'll talk to Kathy that's the mayor there. Kathy. Kathy. So I'll go and I'll talk to Kathy and let her know that basically mm -hmm. four years from now we're going to be coming through town so they can start setting money aside if they want to do Main Street at that time or else we'll just mill the center 22 foot out and put an overlay back in so the elevation doesn't change. So really nothing, this this has always been our practice. We've just it's never had it. Well, it's written down. So right. nothing really changes. <coughs> nothing really changes with it. Mm -hmm. It's just that we that we would we would be adopting this as something in writing. It's an official. Uh, yeah. Yes. What are you doing in towns like Gilmore City and Laverne where they're split? So Laverne uh, doesn't take the uh, the 2018 agreement. They give us all of our, our money back. Basically, they don't take the check from us. And we maintain and cover any and all costs inside city limits on that. Um, Gilmore City, we would cover 50% of the costs, which would be 50% of 50%. We'd pay 25% because half of that is in Pocahontas County and half right. is us. So the city would pay 50% in each county. So they're on split the, the other counties then. Yes. Okay. Yep. I know uh, uh, I talked to Gilmore City uh, not that long ago because they were looking at putting stop signs up by the restaurant there. It's apparently a blind intersection. Yeah, it's an inside city limits. They have jurisdiction on mm -hmm. that uh, and pointed them towards the DOT where they can have a, a engineering and traffic study paid for by the DOT to install them. I don't know if she's followed through with that yet. Uh, but I know that they're interested in doing that. And I've talked to Jack multiple times about trying to overlay P19 because it's getting some age on it. But he keeps you know, shuffling it on. He says he's got worse roads, is what he's, his, his response usually is. So. Okay. So. Alrighty. So I'll make a motion to approve the Humboldt County Secondary Road Department policy and procedures. Memorandum. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Another one for you and Peggy to sign. The third item I've got on here isn't actionable yet. I just got the bid tabs today for them. Um, as far as the individual items with the contract that we can approve, but what I did want to do is get you guys a copy of, of the bid tab so that you can see that Merriman Bridge was the low bidder on the bridge project for uh, thank you for the Virginia Avenue Pony Trust bridge replacement. Uh, I talked to Dan the other week when he was down in Florida he was very interested in it and it, it shows it's a very good phone call to make yes yes he was in um, a good mood he's in Florida we want yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. get paid well for your time on that phone call yes yeah um, the, the other two bids were significantly higher yeah. uh, after looking through some of the previous uh, bid lettings 
what it tells me is that the other guys had enough work lined up yeah. for the year. I was wondering why there was such a big difference. Maryland was hungry for mm -hmm. it, um, and the other guys had enough work lined up. And they're still having their car to travel. And, and yeah, so I, I looked through uh, I looked through the bid tabs this morning quick before we came in. Most of the hundred and fifty thousand in savings that we've got between the two bids, most of that happened in mobilization, moving in. It's considerably cheaper for these guys coming from Algona down uh, versus the other places. Uh, that was about forty thousand dollars in savings right there, and then uh, structural concrete and the encasement of the H piles was the other two huge ones. Um, each pile encasement was $50,000 difference between the two, uh, and then the structural concrete was the uh, additional 40000 So between those three bid items is where all of the money was was saved, I guess. And, uh, by having Merriman bid on it, it stayed right at what our estimate was. Good deal. What is the approximate time frame on something like that? Would they? I, I think they're eager to get started. Um, I talked to Dan's son Jesse last week. I emailed him a set of plans. Uh, he said his guys are chomping at the bit to get going. Basically, they've been off all winter and they're <laughs> ready, to they're, they're ready to do something. Uh, so I think as soon as the ink is dry on the on the contract and everything, and we can see some foreseeable good weather, they'll move in awesome. and start removal. So basically SAP? Yes. Yep. Okay. So that was, I just wanted to bring that up. Well, that's good news. Yep. We're always up for saving that. Yeah. 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 Huge savings. Uh, the other stuff we can talk about in the work session, um, looking at the, the five-year plan and, and making sure that I'm on the same page as you guys and uh, the note as far as what all we've got in our block building at this time. So, so probably just table that bridge bid tabs. Yes, I'll uh, okay. I'll, I'll print off the, the table that. I'll print off the the contract and we'll have a award the contract to officially award the contract to Merriman next okay. week. Okay. So we don't have to take any action on that because it's no. There's I just make a motion to table that part. Perfect. Second. Second. <laughs> all those in favor of tabling till next week. All right. Aye. Aye. All next week you'll have it right there. We're okay. going to take care of it. But that's going to take 30 seconds. Yeah. It's going to take long at all. Good work. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. No. I'm going to take a look at the approval of the drainage levies. Okay, you'll need to go into drainage then. I'll make a motion to go to drainage. I will second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor. drainage. Okay. Can I for you? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Frank Gotch. Yes, sir. Are you ready? Frank Gotch cup <laughs> over there. You like only drink out of a Frank Gotch cup. Oh, big bar through the day. <laughs> I wore my sweatshirt yesterday to the grocery store and somebody looked at me and went, where'd you get that? You know, I got it from a guy in Ohio of all places. Yeah, of all places in Ohio. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hmm? <coughs> Hank Bruce, there you are. trying to utilize these cups that he got from the guy in Ohio. Yeah. They're nice. Mm. Well, we don't want the boat fire department mad at Feel us. Feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I support them, too. Yep. Move it all around, right? Come on down over there. Like yeah, a cup of coffee? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Yeah? Oh, that's a little extra. I don't know how long I'm going to stick around. I oh, just oh, 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 yeah, you yeah, have yeah, more yeah, work. Yeah, I know. Wow. wow. Yeah, I got, you don't have a complaint. Yes, sir. I'm starting to think our meetings must be getting really boring when we're on page 12A. I oh, saw I that. We were way back. Boring. We are boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got that going for us. 
You are. But I like, I like green. I like green. That's fine. No, I do too. I don't remember seeing you in a white shirt very often. I thought maybe you had to, you know, had your tie somewhere else. And looks like blue is the color. So it is. It is. It's a good thing for that. I got the. Is this all the stuff we're working on right here? I yep. wear coats. These are all the ones that you know, Robbie. Okay. <laughs> um, in the yellow, it's been out that would be Robbie and the percent. I'm sorry. I'm going to see your phone. I'm going to see your phone. I see that. Holy moly. It's the man. Actually, the amount divided by the unit. Oh, okay. It's just the way it's always been done, and I don't really know why. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always list it that way, but I also list the amount. And then the recommended waiver years, if they're over $500 per parcel, you have to offer. Mm -hmm. That um, 35 branch C, I have 20 years. So do you just pull that number? Pull it what? I mean, do you say 10 years, do you decide 20 years, or just look at the amount of money that it's per look acre? At, look at the amount, basically, if it's huge. Mm -hmm. So you set that kind of as between like a 5, 10, and 20, for yeah. typically. Mm -hmm. yeah. 20 is the max. 20 is the max, and I think Five's it's a limit. huge, long. long, but... It's a long time. Yeah. And I'm about... If you want to change it to 10, I would be up for that too. No, I don't know. I'm just, we were looking they, they can curious. pay it off in three years if it's a 20, they can pay it off in five. I think it's their choice. There's no penalties. Can they pay it off all at one time too they if they want to? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, it's their choice anyway. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I'll basically, they all. Early. Early, just yeah. as a point of clarification, they did take out a 10 or 20 year waiver. They can only pay it off on it. Levy time, so they have twice a year. Option. They can pay it off any time, but they have to pay the, the whole full parcel. payments the, for yes. 40 acre parcels. Right. Is they can't right? make partial payments, basically, unless they're full payments for the next year. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the waivered schedule, it'll say what amount you owe for the next year. Um, yeah, if you get if you owe, you know, if you, you have to. Like four thousand every year for twenty years, you can't come in and only pay two thousand one year. Right, right. You have to pay your full. You have to pay the full. They just broke down mm -hmm. more than or entire more. parcel. Yeah. Right. For like extra payment. And like it's six percent interest mm -hmm. on the waiver payment, so quite a bit. Yeah. So this brings everything up that we've been working on current, are you right? Pretty much? Pretty much. Is there anything that's not on here? I'm trying to think. Most everything's on here. Right? Well, I said there'd be a large repair that we've done somewhere then. Mm-hmm. Re yeah. That I might not have a billing for or something yet. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, our work's in progress, obviously. Right. Like DD right. 18 is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't put 18. Yeah, that already started. Yeah. <laughs> you can only do it for the work that is complete. Right. Yeah. That we have bills for. Is there 10 on? Yeah, 10's on there. So that uh, halfway well, I was just going to say it's about uh, just a little past halfway. Question. So that would be, how, how, what is it being levied in District 10 then? Um, 27000 Right. But being, obviously we don't have the bill on the project. So Repairs and repair other things that have taken place. Over the last two years, probably. probably. Right. Something that you've had on the books from previous repairs? Mm hmm FEMA, whatever. Okay. Um, there may be reimbursement in the future for re the FEMA. But it has to be billed out before you can get reimbursement, isn't that right? I've heard that. Yeah. 
unfortunately. They're levied out before you can get your reimbursement. It does? Yeah, they don't include interest, so mm -hmm. you have to, it'd be nice to get it paid and not have interest accruing because FEMA does not pay the interest. Right. Yeah. Is that the truth? Then they don't want to. Yeah, you have to actually have set the bill, so to speak, yeah, the before bill. they will reimburse, reimburse whatever amount they're reimbursing. Yeah, that's what I heard in one of, one of my meetings on that. So essentially, just picking on Ken, because it said if there's some FEMA involved, so they could pay and it would go back into the District 10 mm -hmm. account as a credit. Right. Cause I, even like when they have a disaster in town and there's FEMA money for people to repair their furnaces or repair their basement, that's the problem. The people have to get the new furnace, submit the bill, well, and, wait. And, wait. and then wait. The problem is they don't have the money to buy the furnace to get the bill to submit it to FEMA. It's really asinine. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> they don't have the government. And do you want government running your health care? No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. Yeah. Right back now. Here, you want to speak a little closer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, some of these, this is just going from past things, you know, even on some of the smaller or larger ones. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, I mean, that. Mm -hmm. We'll keep a little money in there with this levy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. It depends on how active the. Um, Drainage district is, or the lateral. Some of it's 500, some of it's up to 2,500 or 5,000. Yep, for the whichever district or whichever breakdown. Yeah, I yep. think. Just so people are aware of that, that it's what's the most you usually will. 5,000. 5,000. So let's use the most at 5,000. It's in, in a lot of these are obviously most all of them, mm -hmm. unless they're new or old systems. That 5,000 is if the tile breaks, then it gets repaired and you don't have to levy for it because there's money in the account, so to speak. Oh, to cover that already. Yes. Now, in the past, some people have had a stroke over that, uh, getting their levy because, well, yeah, that's... They a lot of them say, well, I haven't had any work done out there for years. Yeah. And that's, like, that's why there's a levy to get the cushion built. Exactly. Up. And typically, you can, you're the one doing this, these all have had bills towards them or work done in these mm -hmm. districts. So if it was one, you're paying for something that's been done, adding a little bit more to keep those, you know, smaller you bills. Because, you know, if it's a thousand dollar bill to repair an intake or something, mm -hmm. then it doesn't have to be levied for. Right away. Because yeah. there's money to pay it out. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, okay, that makes sense. Sure, people aren't a fan of getting a levy every year on their drainage district. No, it Whether it be small or large, yeah. five dollars minimum. Yes. So. It, and it just obviously saves them getting levy and a lot of paperwork Paper. for a small amount, mm -hmm. which I think is just fine. It's nice to have a little money in your account. Is there anything else? I am working on 13A. 13A. It's not in here. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm like a that? That's humble. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, it's a nasty lot of lot of people involved because every little lot. Mm -hmm. Is is that by where that comes down the, through the below the hill here? Oh, okay. Spring. What about that one with the trees and all that? I was asked by somebody on that what we're going to be doing. Oh, you mean there by the hospital? That one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not in here. Oh, okay. I'll fill you on that here. Okay, because I just got asked again at church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so that's going to take a lot of, I have to go through every parcel. They come back invalid if they're split or merged or changed in any way with mm -hmm. the tax district. I looked at them and the list is huge. Yeah. So that's the one that comes down by the Main Street Hill? Mm -hmm. Is that 13? Is that the one you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's just below the hill yeah. here. It yeah. runs up from the south, goes up all the way up to the railroad tracks up here. Oh, that's right. everybody in Humboldt clear up through Industrial Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is a big mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Yeah. That was done. That work right now was done a while back. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That hasn't been recent. No, it's a few years ago. 
And it's actually supposed to be billed out through the city. The city is supposed to handle it. But they're not. Take it. No. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do it. Yeah. Which I can vouch for. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, I would love if it's their responsibility. I don't know if they let them off the hook, but then again, I suppose you go back and say it's a drainage district. Mm -hmm. Technically, in the code, you can give it to them. It's already been given to them, and they're supposed to take care of it, but we keep the records. But we also have the ability to um, look each parcel up. Otherwise, they would have to do a probably a citywide special levy mm -hmm. to cover it. So I don't know. Is it fair to say you may be working with them? Working for them. For them. It sounds <laughs> more like, <laughs> more like you're it doing sounds more like for than with. Yeah. 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 All right. But this is how it was done the first time, too. So we got all that stuff in our computers, and so we'll just con continue on, right? Mm-hmm. With a smile. <laughs> all right. Get that done, and then that can be hopefully. What, just one thing on the, the largest amount, obviously, is 35 Branch C. Mm -hmm. That was okay? Everything was good on that? And that lovely? No, okay. No surprises, though. Good. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the drainage levies. I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Levies approved. Leave 13A alone. <laughs> Have we heard anything on uh, the <laughs> <Are you laughs> <doing that? laughs> They're casting on both ends. I bet they do. Yeah, I'm going to get into the end. The on the back end's on 13. You heard anything on uh, Mark Daggy? They were in Friday. Um, Chicken and Mustard Bar putting <coughs> information together. They've been in contact with Mark himself. On that one and possibly two others, I guess. Right. Gee, I thought we were going to have a quiet summer. Yeah. All right. I don't know what all is going on, but there's a couple other ones. And, yeah. So they'll have that ready to present in a week or so, I think. Okay. When it comes up. All right. And 35, you were saying? Yes. Um, we sent the letters out. Andy Lemonis wrote up that easement, sent it out. We got some responses back. Some of them want to get what well, they thought they had heard something about getting paid for an easement. They're wondering how much you're going to get paid. Mm -hmm. And I said, geez, the farmers are already paying to clean up your property. Isn't that enough? So I think we just need, I, I think I'm going to have to go out. These people just talk with them one on one and um, see how it goes. We had a couple yeses, we had several maybes. One definite no, which you will, we won't switch, but they only own a small parcel, like very small, about the size of this room that's involved. So, well, I see that um, Humble Homes, I'm assuming it's Humble Homes, the bridge is laying over there. Right. So, I'm assuming that they're going to. Ron Rasmussen told me that. Yeah. He said they're going to start on it. And Ron was one of them. He was, he was, you know, he was at the meetings and. They just want to make sure that it's not a clear-cut project. It's just taking out the underbrush and leaving the nice trees. Yeah, and that was the people that want to watch the squirrels. And the yeah, and that's what most of the concerns were. And I think that's you just got to go out and visit with these people, reassure them, Let them that's know. what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not going to go and straighten and dredge. And we're just going to clean out the debris so the water flows freely. Yes. So. I did have a call from one of the landowners. Oh, did you? And he was, he just kind of like somebody to go out and point out, you know, where it's going to be. Because he says he's got some really large, large trees. Yeah. Um, come up by Humble Home, that house up there that used to be tubs. Yeah. Okay. I think I know the name. I can't come. Did anybody ever contact State Forester to come in and mark the good ones? Um, they went through with. Didn't, uh, oh, they didn't they didn't Lee didn't yeah. out there. Yeah, I, just, I yeah. thought they said that they, yeah, they were the state yeah. they don't have funding to, yeah. to do make that. a special trip. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I remember. I think a lot of it is we just went out with the owners and, and uh, yeah. 
walk through it and explain what we're going to do, and mm -hmm. you know, take them up to the north end and show them what we've done for an example. And Need to go around mm -hmm. good and take out all the trash. Yeah. The and the yeah. Mm -hmm. and then stop it physically in there. And, and, the and then have the right come in and spray the foliage underground so it doesn't grow back. Yes. Keep the brush from growing back. Rick, if you're willing to do that, that's awesome. Okay. I'm, I've, I'm already on the list, so I'm not to say that. I mean, if you can, if you can get things to be done, that's exactly what needs to be yeah, done. We all or that. set up them coming in again, because I think the, the, the bottom line of it is that this whole project needs to be done by the end of this calendar year. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can get it done. It's language for 15 plus years. Yeah. So if you feel that's not too much of a burden to... No, I'll keep at it. I'm, I'm willing to help you, but I was I'm, ask I'm you also want to go a with. property owner up there. Well, it's I nice to have some support from somebody who is along there. Mine's yeah. one of them smaller than this yep. room. That I don't even actually touch it, but the drainage part would be yeah. so tough to... You? So I'm not wanting to be the one that thinks that we're out trying to push something down their throat, but yeah. we're just trying to clean it up so that... So down the road, then small little four-inch trees don't turn into a massive twenty-inch tree, and then breaks and falls in the ditch, and we have a heck of a mess. Yes, yeah. that's worse. The ones but already. Clean. I mean, we got a mess down there. It would have been a lot easier to clean it up. Yeah, so you could accomplish that, but I would just I'll set a time frame. I'll help you. Now is a good time to for the. Balance of the the well, now you can see it good because right. the mosquitoes aren't bad and there's no leaves. Yeah. But the time is to have that squared away with the easements and then mm -hmm. have the balance of this year to get it taken and care of. We could still get a 4x4 four four on the budget that we could drive down through there. <laughs> I don't think they uh, No, I think it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You got two of them sitting over the road. <laughs> you can use, yeah. <laughs> use it. Yeah. Use it. Yeah. 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 We've got one of them right now. Okay. Well, this one we will have to see. Well, what I happens if only 90% of the. Put it in there and let him drive around and look at the trees. Or even 75% yeah, of them. That will help the east, but the other 25 don't. What do you do then? Well, we're going to have a back that. from this fairway. Oh, okay. And I think they just have some questions that need to be cleared mm -hmm. up, except for one. The one is going to be a no no matter what I tell them. Oh, okay. But I can say he owns a small portion. And so we can, what, just miss that area yeah. then? You yeah. just don't. Clean that. Gotcha. Okay. And I think by the time he sees what's, what's going what it's going to look he'll like, he's going to come back and say, you know, well, you're, before you get past me. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'll look a lot. I, I mean, mean you it, know, it honestly is an area the size of this room. Okay. That we have. It's going to be a pie shape. You mm -hmm. know, it's very tiny. Well, I suggest we revisit this by the time the weather's getting nice. Yeah. And hopefully by that. Well. Revisit to the fact that everyone is on board. Yeah, I'm going to try to get hold of these. I talked with Andy on Wednesday, and, and um, I told him I was going to go visit these people, take them out there, show them what we're going to do, and that's try right. to get them excited and get them back. Yeah. The only one we never heard back from was Fairway, and that's corporate. You know, mm -hmm. I told them to send a follow-up letter, saying, hey, give us some response. And most of those down there by them, you had a back code that you could just pull those things out that be and yeah. make that look so much nicer anyway. But and then mm -hmm. get the work order part of it lined up to get done yeah. and the weather's good, the balance mm -hmm. of the year. Yeah. Like we it. might have to wait till next fall when it frees. Might, like it. But you still need to kinda of have everything in place. Yeah, yeah. So that is nice good work taken care of. Thanks for doing that, right? Oh yeah. Yep. Well, thanks. thanks. Anything else, Trish? Yeah. It's easier to take the truth. You don't talk to him. Yeah. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. About the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank One thing that would well, Rick and Peggy, <coughs> I talked to the business of Todd Lane the other day about the, the DNR and the, the dam. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he just said that they are working, but as we all know, the DNR works at this speed. Mm -hmm. And it's not when we're ready to do it, it's when they're ready to. But he said they are 
moving forward and he would let us know if there's anything that you know if he's having issues that he needs help with but he said he has contact or he has talked to some couple different people so hopefully it'll be more of a push than what it is. So mm -hmm. did you want to talk something? I have some here. All right. I'm drinking that. So that's their, their, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> well I think we've got everything checked off the list down to committee reports. Okay. Okay, let go back a little ways because we didn't have a meeting. Yep, after the tenth. So we go back to the tenth, I suppose, don't we? Yep. Farm Bureau meeting at 6, conference board at 6 on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Wait. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I got Farm Bureau. Uh, Tuesday, uh, yeah, conference, conference board okay. here at the courthouse at That's 6, okay. on Wednesday I had the dog shelter at City Hall at 6, Thursday I had Bank Iowa HCDA meeting at 7 a.m., and then Thursday afternoon or late morning, I went to Des Moines for the insurance meeting down in Des Moines on Thursday and Friday. And then the following week on the 18th, I had landfill down in Fort Dodge. And then I spoke with Andy Lemonis on Wednesday at his office on, on D35. That's what I had. You've been busy. I had a busy week. Okay, I think everybody was at the Farm Bureau, so I was there on Monday the 10th, Tuesday the 11th, so it was a conference board meeting. Um, now, this one's going to sound strange, but Saturday morning, I got a phone call from the uh, LEC 911 board yeah. to come up to the courthouse because they couldn't get in because we had our janitor stuck in the elevator out here oh. and it, it couldn't couldn't get anybody at well the the, the, the sheriff was locked and he was stuck in the, the elevator. sheriff could were going to come out but they couldn't they didn't have a access so they, I was they have keys well there are three of them that have keys the fobs evidently the they weren't the the ones that were working Under so I said sure I'll run up there I said, do the you know which floor he's on, on. Well, yeah. Shouldn't they keep no. one at the LEC, the, a FOB, just in case they need to Dave the was working on Saturday and he got them, I don't know. But there are people downstairs and when he hmm. shut the door, pressed the button, the door didn't come all the way shut, but the elevator started to go up and then he was stuck in between and he couldn't get it to move. So I went down the steps, shoved, shoved the door and it took right off. Well, so, you saved the day. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I thought, Superman. It was kind of like, I said, <laughs> do I need to call the fire department or something in case we got to pry the door open? Well, so I had Jim Drum back and I were just talking. I said, I'm on my way up. So we, we ended up getting it done. So, oh, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> then on uh, Wednesday, the 19th, we had our ministerial board meeting. Then on Friday, we hate, I'm on the subcommittee for the ministerial board, so we were, we met on Friday the 21st, um, the subcommittee, trying to make sure that all the times and whatnot for that. So I met Friday the 21st. That's it. Then this is my work. What again yeah. was the 21st, Bruce? Uh, subcommittee for the ministerial board. Subcommittee. Board. Board. subcommittee. Okay. Okay. Monday the 10th, I had the Farm Bureau. Tuesday the 11th, I had IWD Region 5. We met in Fort Dodge. And then the conference board meeting that night. Um, let's see, I thought I had something else. Oh, and then Friday the 14th, uh, we met with Colby DeWitt, which is Joni Ernst's um, staffer. Okay. That was really an interesting... Um, is that the one Melissa emailed us on? Yeah, Melissa emailed us on. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty good. Um, and then, let's see here. The 18th, I had Kitty Cat Daycare Meeting. The 19th, I had County Social Services HR Meeting in Charles City. 
And that was it. It's just taking you so long to get them off that computer. We just <laughs> All I got to do is boom, 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 boom. Um, I had to make a run on Monday <laughs> over east, so I didn't get back for the Farm Bureau meeting. Tuesday is up for the assessor's or conference board. That was on the 11th, 12th, I had the dog meeting. That was an interesting meeting. Too cold for anybody to be there. Um, Thursday the 20th, we had a Board of Adjustment meeting on some couple of properties. It was up here in the courthouse. That's all I have. Okay, I had the Farm Bureau Supper attended, the conference board on Tuesday the 11th. Um, the 12th, our EMA board meeting was canceled due to the weather, but we did an email vote, email vote to approve the budget. So that was taken care of for the EMA. On Tuesday the 18th, that morning, I attended an uh, informational session with the Motorola Spillman folks. Uh, that is a new software update for the law enforcement. Uh, a little bit of 911 stuff there, but that's that big new software program that they explain the implementation mm -hmm. of that. So that was very interesting. Uh, that's all that I had the past few weeks. Dave with the dog shelter meeting on the kennel gates. Mm -hmm. Found a company in southern Iowa that can build them in two weeks. Uh, I never got a quote from him, but if I send him the information, he'll give me a quote. Paul Davis said he can build them. He's built, built them before for different veterinary clinics. So, we got a couple options on those. Okay. So I think I'll probably give that guy in southern Iowa just to have him a chance to quote it anyway. Quote it. So, have it done local. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, speaking of which, I have uh, somebody asked me, do we have, have we talked or what are we doing with the animal control person? Did we ever get that? Are we going to advertise we're, for that? We're or are we still trying to hope that the animal shelter will get up. We'll have a walk through next month. Uh, we're hoping that they will kind of hire somebody and then. If they pick up a, an animal that's called into 911, then we will, or to the law enforcement center, then we will pay for that animal. It'll be built out of court. Built out to wherever it come from. And uh, the same person can run the shelter. So we're just kind of dragging our feet on that right now. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where you're So at. are we, I mean, I just heard through the grapevine that is the depth, uh, Sheriff, deputies, are they still? They're still yeah, they're still doing it. Right. And the city of mm -hmm. they're still picking up. The officers are still picking them up. Okay. But right now we're just kind of dragging our feet, hopes that we will get the building up and, and we can get somebody hired out there to Perfect. kind of run it and pick up dogs to right. cats or whatever. Dogs are cats only. Yeah. No snakes, no no mice, no, none of that. <laughs> no mice? No Those are weird animals. animals. No exotic animals. There you go. Well, so Bruce mentioned on the budget, so we have the, on the we set that date for the nice, nice, nice. And on the 9th, when we have that public hearing, if it is approved, then you can automatically set the date for the regular public hearing on the budget, which would be with giving us time frame here on the 23rd. Um, that's what I was looking at for the second hearing. This is the change in the law that they put right. into if you go effect. You over that 2%, you have to have a public yeah. hearing. And then you ha also have to pass it by a four-fifths majority. If there's five people, four people have to vote yes on it. Oh, okay. On that first meeting to get it to go through. The second one, it's simple majority. But okay. 
but time frame wise and protocol wise we're in pretty good shape then. Yeah, yeah, we've still got time to get it done. So Okay. Uh, up against okay. the time frame then. Right. Okay. Thanks for all your hard work and the yeah. questions welcome. you posed and got everything pieced together. Yep, and I'll give you some information after we're done here. This okay. is the final okay. printout you can take home so you know oh. where you're at. Just uh, everyone should have got this, but I just wanted to mention it because it, it's interesting. It's kind of like the drainage thing from through the extension, but this is uh, in conjunction with the Boone River Watershed Project, which we're part of, and this is just, it's on Thursday and Clarion, uh, Thursday morning. Uh, it's a uh, conservation type thing that talks about the cover crops and the things that they're doing and promoting in the Boone River mm -hmm. Watershed Project. So probably educational if you want to, you know, you got everybody got an invitation on this, I'm sure. But just, you know, we get a lot of these things. Yeah. Wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. I printed it out. Maybe it would go. Probably won't. But I really like this drainage thing at the end of March. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Out. yeah. yeah some see the people are talking and we've listened to them all. I mean that okay. you can read through the speakers and that, and they've mm -hmm. got the legal counsel and the engineers, and it probably would be a very good, yeah, good day spent. So that Boone River is on the 26th. I'm going to do the 26th of March. That one, this one is the different event on the 27th of this week. This is just a talk about conservation practices that they're putting on. Mm -hmm. okay. What's on the 26th of March, Dave? That's the uh, Boone River. It's at the extension office in Clarion. That's their actual meeting. The, their what? Yeah, yeah, that's the big one. This is in conjunction with. So I do. You know, I think that's good. And you know, we wondered about being part of it, but I think mm -hmm. it's very positive. They're doing some. They're doing some good things <coughs> in the conservation practices, which we're going to have to keep that up. Anything else? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned.